Nashville. That's what they said. Like I said, I'm picking up in Tennessee. It's going to Oklahoma after I deliver that. Hopefully by tomorrow. Hopefully by tomorrow I'm at home or by Saturday morning, early Saturday morning I'm home. Hopefully, if things go well. And like I said, we also have a special delivery coming November 2nd. Um, so I'll be home over the weekend enjoying my uh, time at the house and I'm taking a short load which is only like 200 miles um, that picks up on Halloween and delivers first thing uh, the following day at 6 in the morning and then I'm going right back home to pick up that new uh, delivery or special delivery that we have coming in so stay tuned for that all right y'all so it looked like we got the sun coming up now. Right, Mook Mook? While I was doing my pre-trip, I noticed that I have a, uh, a leaking shock absorber. So I'm gonna have to get that fixed. I've been looking into it because I wanted to replace them anyway, uh, because I think I got like a very short and cheap shock absorber from the dealer. Uh, the way that this truck was ordered I didn't spec out this truck so um, they needed to be replaced anyways so I've been looking into you know doing it myself so I think that's what I'm going to do and because uh, I don't want to run on that leaking shock absorber uh, too much longer so we're going to take care of that as soon as we get home, hopefully we can buy the parts uh, today and uh, we can replace them as soon as possible. But right now, we are about to hit the road.
want to speed up and then sit there and wait, but they don't they don't want to let you over. They do not want to let you over. And what they what four wheelers don't understand when they're neglecting that turn signal or they just don't care, they're actually making the traffic worse because especially for like the bigger trucks or like pickup trucks that's hauling trailers or RVs or buses, things like that, dump trucks. When we're trying to get over, we can't completely get over in the lane because once somebody, you know, creates space for us behind the ones that decided to neglect the turn signal, we can't even completely do a lane change. So now we're in two lanes blocking the other lane. Traffic stop is now stopped in two lanes because three or four cars wanted to ignore a turn signal. All right, y'all. So we made it to our pickup. Um, my appointment wasn't until one, but we got here at like 1120, I want to say. And um, they allowed us to just, they went ahead before I, y'all, before I even had the chance to sign into the, uh, the uh, sign in sheet. They were giving me a doctor like before i even i was able to put in the what time it was and what company i worked for by the time i was writing my name the lady came back and was like hey you can uh pull into doc four so i'm just sitting here chilling waiting for my bills and the green light and um like i said earlier uh, i got my left steer shock absorber that is leaking the right one isn't my other drives on uh, my drive axles are not leaking um just this left steer and uh they are oem uh i did not expect this truck when i got it i'm not really too pit like the truck only has let me see thirty-eight thousand miles thirty-eight thousand miles i do travel through chicago a lot illinois um indiana kentucky Ohio, so you guys get the picture. Um, well, Ohio ain't too, too bad, but so you guys get the picture. Um, but I'm not too upset about it because I wanted to replace those anyway. So, right now, I'm looking at a few aftermarkets to order. Um, if you guys have any any shock absorbers that you thought were awesome, uh, they were good quality, they didn't give you no headaches, no issues. Um, and you know, I'm not trying to say that. They're supposed to last me for the next six, eight years, five years. No, but, you know, last long enough to where I feel like I got my money's worth. So if you know any brands, uh, shock absorbers for Freightliner, Cascadia, uh, 126, uh, please let me know. Where are we? We are in Missouri. I know that for a fact, about three hours away from Springfield, Missouri. Ellis Moore, Ellis Noor, Missouri, and we are at the Learjack Travel Center. Learjack Travel Center. So, I'm, I normally shut down by 2 p.m. The latest is 4 p.m. So that I can get back up either at midnight or 2 a.m. and drive during the night where it's less traffic you have less headaches at night, so that's what I prefer. But today I drove until 6.18 Eastern time. I'm like four hours behind, which is fine. Uh, like I said, I'm gonna drive the 300 miles to drop and then I'm going straight home. Good morning, good morning, you guys. Um, it is 5.14 a.m. On a good Friday, October 28th, this will be our last day on this load. Um, I'm currently 337 miles away. You know, easy peasy. Drop this load off and then I'm heading home. That's why I got this good mood going on t uh, this morning. <laughs> it's nothing like that day that you know, that day that you know you're going home. Like, it's no other feeling. All right, guys, we made it to our drop. It's 11 in the morning. 
I think I got here at like 10, 10, 20, 10, 30. The check-in process was kind of long. They told me where to pick up my empty. There were no empties over there for my company. And so I go back to where I dropped my loaded because I know I've seen a few of our trailers over here. Like three of them, three or four of them was filled with like stuff for their storage. Like they're using our trailers as storage. And the only trailer left, uh, because I was able to look into, into the trailers because they normally keep their empties and their storage uh, trailers, the doors open. It was one JB Hunt trailer and uh it was there was one trailer left and the doors were not open now like, let me just try my luck and I opened the doors and it was empty sure enough so and it wasn't in the area she told me to go find it empty at so sometimes guys you gotta you kind of have to do your own thing especially when you're at a yard that's very unorganized um like this lot it's a big lot, but they have trailers everywhere. They have work equipment, dumpsters everywhere. It's crazy. Um, but I am at a plant. They uh, they build school buses. So I think I brought in like insulation and framing for the school buses. So that's cool. But uh, let me slide my tandems to get out to the guard shack so they can make sure that I have an empty trailer. And then I'm on my, on my way home, guys. All right, guys, so I'm just showing you what they have parked along their lot. Like, they literally have everything everywhere. I'm going to let this guy head past. Let him do his thing. But yeah, I guess these are the new school bus buses they just built. Okay, so I thought that was a guy. We just waved at our girl. She doing her thing. Damn, that's, that school bus just cut her off. so it's an international uh, warehouse this is so cool I want to say this is like my second craziest thing or most interesting thing I've delivered I think before I've caught like some big field tanks for a warehouse that delivered in Chattanooga Tennessee and then this low building materials for a school bus Hold on, guys. Let me check out. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Empty. Yeah. Empty. Yeah. Okay. He's closing my door for me. Thank you. That's so awesome. <laughs> that is so awesome. So you guys, I'm picking up an empty and at some places when you're picking up an empty, you have to leave your one, at least one door open so they can take a, so they can take a peek inside. To make sure that it's empty so you'll have to pull up stop let them look and then you know climb down the truck and uh close the door back well i had the door open for him you guys seen that he had to open the girl or the yeah the, the woman's truck in front of me but i had the door open for him and he ended up closing the door back for me So I didn't have to, you know, get out and do it. So 
that's dope. But yeah, guys, we're heading home. 74 degrees, October 28th, on this good Friday. You know, payday for some. And uh, we're about to head home. Get us some good food. A nice nap. And uh, get up and have some fun. So, let's hop to it.